You have three different plans for OBD11 device and it can get a little bit confusing so in this quick video I will explain it and you will know which one is right for you. Now there is no difference between devices so whether you choose any plan you will still use it with this one device and you can even buy plans separately. So if you don't have OBD11 yet, I suggest starting with just free plan, just buy this device, cheapest this on OBD11 website. I even share with you 10% discount code, it will be in description. And then if you want to move to more advanced plan, you can just buy plan separately on OBD11 website. Now OBD2 scanner for VAC has two uses, either you want to diagnose problems or maybe check the used vehicle, you want to diagnose some fault you are having, so that will be diagnostics. And then you have service and customization, so stuff like forcing your DPF filter to regen or unlock electronic brake calipers or unlock some new hidden features, so that is customization and service. But for first use, diagnostics, you can use any plan. So all of them have diagnostic features. And even with free plan, you are able to connect to all control modules, you can do full scan, you can erase codes, you can check emission monitors, you can do even bidirectional testing. So same like bidirectional scanners can do, you can use just this adapter with free plan and turn on and off different components in every system in your car, whether it is engine, radio, doors, all control modules, you can use it. And then second use is servicing and customizing and there are two ways how to do that. First way is using one-click apps and these one-click apps are available for all plans but there is one difference. With free and pro plan you can still use all of one-click applications but you have to pay credits. Each app will cost you around 10 credits, sometimes can be more. But Ultimate has unlimited one-click apps so with Ultimate you can do one-click applications, you have one year of Ultimate and you can do unlimited one-click apps, you can use thousand one-click apps a day. There is no limitation and you don't need credits. But for Pro you need to pay credits and for free you need to pay credits. Okay, so for free it is understandable, but if you have Pro subscription you definitely don't want to pay credits because you already paid for subscription and you don't have to. Because in Pro you have that VAC functionality like basic settings, adaptations, coding, long coding, security login, all that you probably know if you watched some VCDS videos or if you used any OBD2 scanner on VAC car. And this VAC functionality you can use for service procedures, so the DPF regen, oil reset, brake reset, whatever it is to service car, or then to unlock hidden settings. And these VAC functions, basic settings, coding, long coding, blah blah, they are not available for free plan. If you are not very good with VAC system and you don't want to pay for apps because it makes more sense to just buy pro subscription I have this full VAC coding PDF that will teach you how to use coding adaptations with OBD11 so you don't have to spend money on apps you can just download this and then you can do everything yourself with coding PDF is free and you can download it in video description so now you hopefully understand differences between these three plans and if you want to buy any OBD11 device one more time I have coupon code it is in description but you can use it not only for free but also if you will buy pro plan ultimate plan or if you buy one of their bundles plan plus device and that coupon code is in description as well.